So is changing your YouTube channel niche a bad idea? Well, a question I get asked a lot on this channel is, should I rebrand my current channel or start an entirely new one? In the past, having subscribers and history carried some weight on YouTube and meant that you had a greater chance of ranking for lucrative videos. But these days, subscribers aren't what they used to be. And in fact, I'm surprised subscribers are even still a thing. It's a dead metric. It's just a bookmarking facility that people use. The only reason we actually care about subscriber counts these days is because of vanity or status metrics. We YouTubers all dream about getting our hands on one of those shiny silver or gold play buttons. But other than the backslaps for achieving something that is seen as being difficult, subscribers don't mean anything anymore. In fact, they don't even help you with views. You can get subscribers quickly with shorts if that's what you want. But if they don't translate into more views and an engaged audience, then they are literally just dead weight. The same can be said for dead channels. Bringing an old channel back to life can be twice the amount of work as growing a new one, especially if you change the original niche. You see, YouTube cares about relevancy these days. Are people actively interested in and watching your content? A better metric than, say, subscribers would probably be monthly views on the channel. So, although many YouTubers may still be asking people to subscribe and hit the notification bell, believe it or not, unless those notifications are also activated in your phone's privacy settings, which are obviously getting more and more strict these days, then very few of those subscribers will even be getting those notifications. In fact, on average, less than 3% of channel views come from people clicking on those notifications that YouTube sends out. So either they don't care or they don't see them at all. On my channel, it's not even 0.5%, and I've seen similar numbers on other channels, so I'm pretty sure it's not even around that 3% average. So you can definitely stop asking people to click the notification bell, and to be honest, I would just stop asking people to subscribe altogether. Asking for a like is a much better option, as YouTube actually sees this as a form of quality validation. So most of your views will come from new viewers or viewers that you have remained relevant to, in that YouTube has kept showing your videos to them and they have kept watching them, at least to some small degree. And if they keep showing at least some interest, then YouTube will keep serving your videos to them. But it also means that the moment that you drop off someone's homepage or stop being relevant to them, then that subscriber is now pretty much dead at least until they come across some of your content that they like again. So if you change niche or rebrand, then you become irrelevant to most, if not all, of your current subscribers. And subscribers are often part of the first target audience that YouTube tests out new videos to as they have watched your content in the past. If they don't click and watch or only watch a small percentage of the video, then YouTube is less likely to push it out to a broader audience. So until you find a new audience and YouTube better understands your channel again, then your subscribers are just dead weight. In fact, I rebranded Channel Profits when I should have just restarted, and this slowed down growth massively in the beginning. I was losing subscribers faster than I was gaining them, as people just weren't interested in the new content. Though this was actually a good thing, as at some point I had more interested people than uninterested, and growth started to tip the scales in the opposite direction. It's also worth noting that you can accidentally change your niche. For example, I recently really got into AI content creation tools and started to produce more videos on AI in general. And there is definitely overlap here, but Channel Profits is not a channel about AI. So this led to a drop in video views. Now I could of course keep producing content on AI if I wanted, and I would eventually find a new, perhaps even bigger audience. But I'm not personally interested in producing content on just AI tools. This channel is about creating and growing profitable YouTube channels. But it's yet another good reason to keep your channel and avatar's goal in mind at all times when producing your videos. It's just way too easy to go down rabbit holes. So now knowing that subscribers generally mean nothing, ask yourself if your old audience will like your new content. If the answer is no, then just start a new channel. The algorithm is much more friendly to new channels these days. With that said, if you would like full step-by-step -step training on building profitable YouTube channels, then check out the links in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.